All right, let's do one that has some trig. Okay, so this one we're uh, told that two sides of a triangle have lengths A and B. Okay, so these are going to be fixed lengths. A and B are going to be a constant in this case. It says the angle between them is theta. It says what value of theta will maximize the triangle's area? And it gives you a reminder in case you don't remember this formula from trig. It, the hint here, it says to use A equals one-half AB sine theta. So in this case, this problem's easier because they tell you what formula uh, to use. Okay, so we'll start with area equals one-half AB sine theta because it tells us that from the very beginning. All right, now, we want to take the derivative of this. When we do the derivative, remember that your A and the B are considered constants here. So you can think of this as one big number times sine theta. So when you do that, you're not going to have to use a product rule because you're not taking the derivative with respect to A or B, you're taking the derivative with respect to uh, theta. So because of that, we can treat all this as just a single number. Okay, so when we do that, we're going to bring down the one-half AB, just the number you just bring down, just like if it, was, if it was two sine theta, you just bring down the whole two. Okay, the derivative of sine is cosine. So that right there is going to be your uh, first derivative. Again, no product rule needed on this one. Let's set it equal to zero. Zero equals one-half AB cosine theta. All right, now, for this, when you set it equal to zero, because all this is a constant, you can actually ignore all that. You're only going to set the cosine equal to zero. This part can't be set equal to zero because that's going to be fixed. Okay, so that's A and B are already given as the lengths of a, a certain triangle. So because of that, we're just going to do 0 equals cosine theta. You could also algebraically divide all that out, and you'll get 0 equals cosine theta. Now, let's think about the unit circle. We want to look for what angle on the unit circle will give us an x value of 0. Okay, now when you look at your unit circle, you have two different values that you can get with a cosine 0. You get pi over 2 and you also get 3 pi over 2. So theta equals pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. However, 3 pi over 2, if you change that back into degrees, that's 270 degrees. You know that's not possible because a triangle can only have a maximum of 180 degrees. So technically you're only looking for an angle between 0 and 180, and so that's why 3 halves doesn't work. Your only answer is going to be theta equals pi over 2.